Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve another word problem on whole numbers. And the problem given is, Joe paid $10,000 upfront for a truck priced at $96,400. He will pay the remaining sum of money by monthly installments of $600 each. How many years will it take Joe to pay off all the installments? All right, so what that means is that Joe bought a truck. Joe bought a truck and he bought the truck for $96,400. And what he did was he didn't pay $96,400 for the truck. He paid only $10,000 for the truck. But he has promised the seller that he will pay the remaining sum of money by monthly installments of $600 each. Well, actually, what that means is that, you know, when you buy something that's expensive, something like a car or a truck or a house or a piece of land or even a computer for that matter, when you buy something that's expensive, you don't pay the entire sum of money that it costs you to buy that thing up front. OK, unless you're really rich, you don't buy you don't pay everything in one big shot. What you do is you pay a certain amount of money, which is smaller than what the price of the, uh, the, the thing is that you just bought. So you pay a smaller amount of money up front on the day that you made the purchase and you pay the remaining amount of money in smaller chunks. They could be either weekly or monthly, you know, depends upon how, uh, on what the arrangement is. You could e either pay monthly installments or you could pay weekly installments or any other installments, maybe fortnightly installments. I don't know if there is such a thing, but maybe there is. Anyway, so what happened here is our guy, is our man Joe, he bought a truck. So let's draw a model for that. So this is our man Joe's truck, okay? So this is the model for Joe's truck. So let's say this is the truck and it was tagged at $96,400. So this is how much the price of the truck was, $96,400. And what Joe did was, what Joe did was he paid only $10,000 up front. So he paid $10,000 on the, on the day that he made the purchase. So this is your $10,000. So let's paint it maybe purple. Okay, so he paid this purple box of money up front and he's promised the seller that he'll pay the remaining amount of money. Let's say maybe that's uh, yellow. He will pay this amount of money, whatever that is, by monthly installment. So what's this amount of money? Let's say it's easy, very easy, fairly easy to calculate. Uh, from the model diagram, we can say that this is $96,400 minus $10,000 that he has already paid up front. So that's equal to very simple calculation. It's $86,400. So he's promised the seller that he'll pay $86,400 by monthly installments of six hundred dollars each now what that means is that you know if he bought the truck in january he paid ten thousand dollars in january and then he said that he'll pay six hundred dollars in february this is six hundred dollars and he said let me use another color which is more obvious so this is february okay then he will pay six hundred dollars in March. So he'll pay $600 in March. Then he'll pay another $600 in the next month, which will be April, and so on until it's December, and then it'll be the following year, uh, January of following year, and so on, and then another year, another year, another year, and so on until he has paid off every single bit or every single cent of the cost of the truck so that this will be here the last installment of six hundred dollars okay and we don't know when that will be but it will be someday okay so that's what we have to find out at that how many months or how many years it will take joe to pay off every installment every monthly installment of six hundred dollars for the truck all right so how many of these little boxes, these little yellow boxes, okay, that I'm highlighting here in red. So how many of these little yellow boxes here and here and here, how many of these will be there is what our job is to find out. So
So, how can we find that out? Well, we know that this entire uh, yellow thing, okay, so let me mark that in another color. So, this entire yellow thing, this entire yellow box of money, we know is equal to $86,400. What we have to do is divide it into chunks of $600. So, so here is your yellow box that I'm reproducing. Okay, so this is your yellow box, which is equal to $86,400, right? We just calculated. So this is your $86,400, and we are breaking this box into, this is yellow in color. Okay, and we are breaking this box into chunks of $600. So this is your first $600, second $600, third $600, and so on until... The last six hundred dollars. So each of these little yellow boxes is six hundred dollars. What we want to find out is how many such six hundred dollar boxes will be there, and that will tell you how many months it will take to pay off the installments. So we, what we want to find out is if this is month number one, month number two, month number three, month number four, and so on. Then how many months will it take for Joe to pay off? every single installment actually the all the installments so this is simple calculation what we do is you take eighty six thousand four hundred dollars which is the value of this big yellow box here so eighty six thousand four hundred dollars and then you divide that by the value of the smaller yellow boxes okay that i'm shading here okay so you have to divide that by the value of the smaller yellow boxes and what's the value of the smaller yellow boxes each of them is six hundred dollars so then that will give you how many months it will take which is one two three four and so on and what this this guy here will be which is what we have to find out that how many boxes how many smaller yellow boxes will be there all right so we do this calculation eighty six thousand four hundred dollars divided by six hundred dollars so let's do the working here 86,400 divided by 600. Let's just cancel out the two zeros. And then what you do is 1, 6, 2, 6, 4, 24, and 2 remainder 4. So it will take Joe 144 months. These are 144 months. Let me write that down clearly here. So it will take Joe 144 months. To pay off the monthly installments which means that this last box here will be equal to 144 but the question is how many years will it take well we know that it will take Joe 144 months but how many years so every year each year has got 12 months so what you do is you take this 144 months and divide that by 12 because each year has got 12 months so what do you get from there well 12, 144 months is equal to 12 years. So that's how long, 12 years is how long it will take Joe to pay off all the installments. All right, so that's that about this word problem. For more word problems, for practice exercises, and to monitor your progress in math, just visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.